wine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Shocker. Ah, ah, let me think. So, uh, okay. So, how about that? How about that? So, we're excited about it because we took the pictures last week and they look really good. So, okay, here's a new, pl- a totally new player. I don't know where he got a hold of us. Guy's name is Jacob. He says, hey, I've, been, I've got these wonderful wines. Uh, can I send them to you? And, of course, you get that all the time, right? Wow. But they were they are wonderful mm-hmm. and they're very reasonable. So in this case, the shelf price is twenty bucks. You get, you get more for twelve ninety nine. This is a full on you know cab, big, right? Delicious. Well, it's not over over the top. It's interesting. It says wine keepers cut. Is this a steak or is it wine? I mean, I, I don't get it. But okay, wine keepers. I guess it has cut. something to do with the, you know this is that. Yeah, projection like like the old movies. And I thought maybe the J is backwards, maybe spelled it wrong or something. You never know. But you know, look at the glass, big glass, right? Yeah, no, expensive package. Lots of cassis in there, yeah. like fruit forward cabernet, but a little bit of oak in there. I think it's really good. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's 20 be bucks. very popular actually. Twelve ninety nine on the shop. Uh, uh, the reorder price is killer. That's uh, that's a ninety four for me. See, I had to look at these and go, all right. You it's walk into the market. For him too. Huh? It's a ninety four oh, for him. <laughs> You walk in the market, you see a floor stack of, you know, one of the big brands, you know, whatever it is, the entry level of the Kendall Jackson mm. for twelve nine. I mean, it doesn't compare. This is I'm changing my mine to ninety five. Okay. I like it Whoa. more. I like it more on the second sip. Well, yeah, it's opening up. Actually. That's really important too. You know, I mean, when you when you consider that it goes through a bottle of wine goes through a lot to get in the bottle. I mean, it's just forced in there, and then it goes through the bottling line, et cetera, and then it's thrown in a, and I literally mean thrown into a box. And it gets shaken up, and it's, you know, how would you feel if that happened to you? And so, it does happen to me. So what, yeah, and but obviously you're the same. So what happens is it goes through what they call bottle shock. They even made a movie about it, even though it had nothing to do with bottle shock. Um, it did, though. Well, it, anyway, it had to do with uh, the Paris tasting in 76. Thank you. Um, so anyway, this uh, this wine probably was just bottled recently, and it's and every time I taste it, it goes, it gets better, you know. So mm-hmm. there you go. So I'm doing a 95. We're doing a 95. But you're right. The second sip and the third sip were like, wow, lots of like, what is it? Cran- not cranberry, but boysenberry in there. Mark the date down. He said I was right. Yeah, he sound like Sandra. <laughs> 